All right, guys, so I'm really excited to show you guys the dogs that we brought back from Europe. If you guys remember, we recently were in Europe, we were buying dogs, we were selecting dogs for our protection program, for our police program, and we brought back a whole bunch of dogs. So I'm gonna show you some of these dogs today, and I'm really excited to show you some of these dogs. These dogs are still, for the most part, fairly green. So they haven't been trained a lot, that's okay. That, the training part is up to us. For us, it's about the quality of the individual dog, the genetic quality of the dog, and all the potential that that genetic quality gives to the dog. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, so first up is Hemi. Hemi is a fantastic female German Shepherd. Uh, she's about a year old. She comes from the Czech Republic originally, and she's got a really spicy temperament, really active, outgoing female. She's still not fully mature, and you can see that she has a beautiful athletic build. That's what I like to see. She loves working with the handler. She's a spicy girl when she needs to be, so it's gonna be a fantastic family protection dog. Quite frankly, Hemi's one of those dogs that could actually be a police dog as well. Um, you know, she shows us all the things that we want to see. Really, really excited to, to be working with this little girl here. This is a countering sleeve, so this sleeve is designed to actually promote uh, countering into the sleeve because it's a little bit on the softer side because all the protection dogs and police dogs we train to go on the bite suit so we utilize this sleeve in the beginning yeah yeah hey 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 Woo. Sander, hi! All right guys, so that's Hemi, a lot of potential. I like young dogs, we like to buy them real young generally because it gives us a lot of potential, a lot of time to work. And I like seeing the dogs before they're fully mature because generally when they're fully mature, you have even more. When you have a lot and the dog is young, it gives you a lot of opportunity for growth. And a lot of these dogs are gonna be staying with us for a period of time going through some training before they move to their new situations, whether it's in a police department or in a uh, personal protection situation. All right, guys, this is Wex. Wex is a fantastic herder that we purchased in Holland. He's gonna make a really nice police dog. Again, he could be a really nice protection dog as well if somebody wants this type of breed. He's a lot of dog, just as you would expect uh, with this kind of breeding. He's still quite young. You can see he's gonna be quite a large, substantial dog, uh, super athletic dog crazy drives, all the things that we want to see in a police dog, but he's nice and social as well. He can do bite work, he can do ball hunts, it's great. Wax is super ball driven, you know, he really loves the ball, he gets after that ball, and that's what we want for our police dogs. We want dogs with a lot of ball drive. There you go. As you can see, he's got a lot of hunt drive, he's working real hard. And that's what we want to see. We want to see intense hunting drives in the dog. We want to see a dog that doesn't give up, that just keeps searching until he finds what he needs to find. Um, and this is just a genetic trait. You know, he obviously has a lot of drive for the ball and he knows that the ball is somewhere around here and he's just learning to use his nose and hunt around, do patterns until he finds the ball. And it's like, bro, hey. Guys, what we did was we forwarded this hunt, obviously, because it would take too long to show, you, show it all to you, but, you know, he was hunting for about a minute, and that's what we kind of want to see, you know, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, whether it's raining, that the dog will just hunt and search for, for his ball, because a dog that'll do that is a dog that'll track, it's a dog that'll look for drugs, bombs, whatever it is that you need the dog to hunt for. So hunt drive is really, really important for any of our police prospects. You see that he has a lot of possession. He's willing to hold on to that ball. He's willing to fight for that ball. That's what we want to see in our police dogs. So many times I see people showing dogs for police work and they barely have any ball drive. For us, it's really important. Our green dogs have tons and tons of ball drive and they'll work all day for that ball. All right, great. Bring him over here. Woo! Ah. Oof. As you can see, he's a big gripping dog. Oof. Ah. 
Hood! 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 Really, really nice dog from a bite work perspective. Oof. A lot of potential. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Dun, dun. Oof. Oof. Oh, 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 dun. Oof. That's a good boy. Ah. Woo, woo, woo. Hi, hi. Let him go. Hi. Oof. So what you can see with these dogs is again, as with the other one. Just a lot of nice potential. You know, with actual training, it's gonna get obviously exponentially better, but I'm just showing you the genetic quality of the dogs. All right, guys, this is Lola. Lola's actually a really young dog. She's a nine month old bicolor German Shepherd, actually born and bred in Holland. She has some really nice lines and uh, she really did very well for a puppy on the testing. So I chose to go with her. I like him young and I like him full of potential. The other thing too that we've seen with Lola, she has really nice territorial behavior. She shows a lot of potential in the bite work. So she's gonna make a really nice family protection dog. Again, this is a dog that, you know, with a little bit of development could go um, into the police as well. And I like having dogs that can kind of go both ways. Yeah, come on, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Hoop. And this is a puppy, guys. Like, there's really, there's like no work into this dog. This is all just genetic behavior. And that's what I like to see. It's all about the genetics, you know. When I go to Europe, when I buy dogs for my program, I'm looking at the genetic quality of the dog. When a puppy can do this right off the hop, doesn't need any development work, this is what I want to see. Because now the sky's the limit for a dog like this. Yeah, 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 hey, hey. And you can see she's a, ah, yeah. Oy! And she would bite me, you know? Hey, good job. So as you can see, you know, still a very young dog, but a lot of potential with her. And she's a beautiful dog. She's gonna really mature into a very pretty female. She's got that bicolor look with uh, a lot of tans. So a lot of people don't want the black and tans. She's gonna be a really nice dog. I love the two little tan points over her eyes as well. All right, guys, so Halo is a one-year-old German Shepherd. He's fantastic. He shows so much potential. You can see he's just a big puppy. He's gonna be quite a large dog, very nice coloration, really, really nice drives. Um, and I'm thinking he's primarily gonna be a police dog. Or if somebody wants him, you know, he could definitely be trained up as a personal protection dog. The sky's the limit with a dog like him. Really, really nice drives, a lot of potential. And I love that he's still just a big puppy. It gives us a lot of space to work with him and mold him into what we want him to be. As you can see, he's got a lot of uh, tug drive. He loves getting after the ball. He likes taking the ball. So as you can see, he's definitely willing to work for a ball. He's got ball drive for days. You know, really excited to work for the ball. Sometimes he can get really excited in the hunting. <laughs> he's still learning to settle down a little bit. But as you can see, he's working. His nose is going. He's like, I know it's around here somewhere. His nose is, oh, there you go. And you can see the wind picked up here and he caught odor. You can see the head snap. Hey, good job. And you see that, eh? That little head snap that he had there. I don't know if you guys caught that. The wind picked up a little bit and all of a sudden he got some odor off the ball and just boom, head snap and he went hunting. And that's what we want to see. We love seeing dogs that have the hunt drive like this. And as you can see, Halo's got ball drive for days. Really, really important with police dogs. I can't overstate that enough, you know. Hey, hey, hey. And again, as you can see, like there's no training into the dog. Doesn't really know what he's doing. It's all just genetic drive. Jesus, I was not ready for that. <laughs> okay, so he's got that speed. Hey, hey, let him go. Yup. So as you can see, again, we have not done sense with the dog, just genetic behavior. Ooh. And that's what we want. We just want genetic drive behavior that we can shape and mold as we want. 
All right, guys, this one's funny. This is Tarzan. And uh, as you can see, he's got long hair, just like Tarzan. This is a long coat German Shepherd, black and tan. At first, when I looked at him, I kind of laughed, but then I actually started testing him. And he just aced every test I put in front of him. So I said, you know what? This dog is, a, again, a fantastic police dog. And, and he has a nice temperament, so he could also be a, a family protection dog as well. Without further ado, here's Tarzan. Yeah, Tarzan! The thing with Tarzan, you'll see, is when he takes the ball, he always brings it back with a little bit of grass, because that's how forcefully he takes the ball. Yeah. It's okay, wait, 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 wait. Let it go. Now you're gonna see that Tarzan has to do a little bit of hunting now. And this dog could be a great police dog. You see that drive that he's got? He also looks very cute, and I know a lot of police departments these days are looking for dogs that are maybe a little bit more uh, friendly looking to the public. And he's quite social as well. He just has a lot of drive, so he'll hunt and hunt. You can see he's using his nose. He hasn't still learned to use it the right way. And again, that what you see with these dogs is they're very green, right? He's got a lot of uh, drive, but I'm not quite sure how to use it yet. He hasn't. We have no breeze here, so there's no odor coming off that ball unless you get real close. Good job! I would say he has good ball drive. <laughs> now, you can see he's real quiet. Oh, that's because he's in prey. And again, he's a young dog. He's about 10 months old. And it's all prey right now which is great. Oof, 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 and he's a hard bite. I think he might be the hardest biting one that we've got. Oof, good job. Hup, hup, ah, yes. Ah, ah, oof. Now what you can see here with Tarzan, he's a young puppy. He's got a ton of prey, really hard grips too. Oof, I can really feel him in the sleeve. And that's what we want to see. Really just a drivey, active young dog. Hey, hey, oosh. As you can see, he's a speed demon. He's Tarzan, he flies like Tarzan. Let him go. Hey, oosh. There we are. Oh. So as you can see, we got a lot of dog here and he's cute AF. <laughs> so guys, there's one more dog that I have. I really, really like this dog. And uh, I think he's one of my favorite dogs that I brought back. But I'm not gonna show him on this video. You'll have to wait till another video to see him. With these young green dogs, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I don't go to Europe to buy trained dogs. I can do all the training myself. I go to Europe to buy dogs that have potential, drive, health, the temperament that we're looking for, and then mold them into fantastic police dogs or fantastic protection dogs. So if you're looking for a nice young dog, a dog for bite sports, a dog for police work, a dog for protection work, look us up, shieldk9dogs.com. Check out our available inventory. We have more dogs, obviously, than what we showed today. And then there's also sometimes dogs that aren't on the website. So you can message us and let us know what you're after puppies that have potential, older dogs that have some level of training or are fully trained. We have a lot of different things available. We are in Canada, the nexus for working dogs. We're only an hour and a half from the border for those of you in the US that are looking for nice dogs and we ship all over North America. So check us out, shieldk9dogs.com. You'll see the website below. <laughs>